everyone, it's Morgan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a little bit of an extra special uh, feature today, I guess, since I finally get to show off to you guys all of the really, really big pieces that I've been working on for all of these months that I've been a little quiet. <laughs> So most of these are, I guess, homework assignments. A lot of them were following prompts that I didn't really have control over, and um, they all came from the same few classes. So we're looking at two drawing courses from uh, this past semester and the one right before that, and then in another video we'll be able to take a look at the giant paintings and all the ceramics that I made as well. All right, so this is starting off with one of my favorite drawings, actually. This is from uh, the life drawing course from the previous semester. This was the, like the first half of uh, my year, <laughs> this year that we're covering. Um, the purpose of this assignment, this was a homework assignment. It was actually one of the like more early on ones in the, in the course. Um, you were to pick any body part, any full body part. So not just like a hand, not just a foot, like a full leg, a full arm, um, and a, a full head and draw that body part with and without skin. And yes, I know how that sounds, but um, so that same body part, um, the same like length of it, bones. <laughs> and this was a full charcoal assignment. So all of that is just white and black charcoal. And I honestly had a really great time doing it. It was, um, it was a good one for me. <laughs> All right, so this piece right here definitely plays into the simple fact that art college got me to do a whole lot of things that I would never do in my own personal work. Um, the purpose of this assignment and yet another homework assignment was to show distortion. So to take a body part or a figure and just absolutely you play around with their proportions, play around with the configuration of the, the figure, and that's exactly what I did here. We have a female figure that's just torn apart into pieces. Um, yet another charcoal assignment. Um, I did add some ink within there if you see um, a bit of the ink texture. And, I don't know, I really just had fun with this one. This is, like I said, not something I would ever choose to do myself. So, yeah, I really just let it let it happen. Especially this, um, this background is, I believe, Copic marker, actually. I had two older Copic markers that I decided it was time to put them out of their misery with this drawing by absolutely finishing both markers. <laughs> And then our next piece is another one from the life drawing course. This one is honestly just gigantic. I don't even know how big it is. It is so large I cannot guess the measurements for you. Um, I combined two pieces of paper together. There's a seam right down the middle, so it is definitely going to be some weird uh, measurements. But this piece is uh, really personal to me, honestly. It's another one of my absolute favorites. It came out a lot, I guess, better than I thought it would. I just didn't have a lot of confidence going into it, and coming out of it I was just, I guess, proud, you know? I was really happy that I actually ended up going through with this piece. Um, it is a bit representative of certain personal things, since um, a lot of these, these two names have associations to my own personal life, so I will let you determine what the subject of this actually is, and I will keep that information to myself. <laughs> More from the life drawing course. Um, I don't even remember the, the <laughs> details of the homework assignment, but this is a drawing of me, actually. This is just me standing in front of the shower in the bathroom in my dormitory, but um, yeah. I believe this is graphite and charcoal together. Uh, I tend to do that sometimes when I'm feeling a little extra lazy, because I personally like working in graphite. I think I work a little bit quicker in graphite, but um, there's just no beating the darkness of charcoal. So there might be just a tiny bit in the floor there, but other than that, not a bad one. This assignment was another uh, odd one for me. It was pretty strange. It was uh, getting us to focus on like the, the planes of the face and um, the different breakdowns and how shadows line up and different like lightings of the face and just, just, you know, how your skin is the same color all around, but we see such different shades of it. So that was um, supposed to be your own skull represented, as if I know what my skull looks like from the interior of my head. But <laughs> your own skull, and it's a depiction of the planes of your own face. So my own little personal spin on this is this little black dot. I have a mole on my face right there, so if anyone doubts that that's me, the mole is what really uh, seals the deal, don't you think? This homework assignment was based on the depiction of a full and complete movement. 
So showing um, from start to end a certain movement and having it be completely believable that yes, this is a fluid motion that this person, being the same person in all three figures, has completed. Uh, this one was pretty fun. I might, may or may not have cut some corners here and there if you look at it really closely, but from afar and as a whole, I enjoy it. I think it was a fun experience. These two in particular I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time on. Uh, it might be pretty obvious, but these are self-portraits. Uh, I don't even remember. I think it was about lighting. Yes, 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 I'm lying. I do remember. So the same figure in a similar like pose, but depicted in two different ways in two different lightings. And you may or, not, may or may not be able to tell that I was a little bit uncomfortable drawing myself, which is why I have black eyes in this one. And you can't see through my glasses. I don't have any eyes at all in this one. So, you know, you always have to find your own ways to creatively spin assignments in ways that will make it interesting for you so that not every assignment is painful. <laughs> or totally painful. These next two are uh, two more figure drawings of myself used as the reference. This was the chair that was in our common room uh, and me sitting in it. <laughs> I don't want to point it out too much, but yes, I am wearing a Chili's uniform in almost all of these. I always took the pictures after work or before work because I felt that it was an outfit that I was comfortable drawing and, you know, just something that represented me a little bit, a little bit better to make it a bit more personal. So apologies that this one is a little bit dirty. Um, the life drawing course was a, a little while ago, so some of these have been sitting around for quite a bit. And they've been rubbing up against each other, especially in transport back and forth from school to home and whatnot. Um, but here's another one of, of me, like I said previously, you know, the chose uniform, uh, just sitting on the couch in my common area. While this one is up, I wanted to take the time to say that this course, this life drawing one, um, these drawings are absolutely huge. They're so large, and these were weekly, so every single week we were making drawings this big. And as much as I love seeing them all together, and I'm just proud of myself for being able to make it all the way through, I do want to take one second to stress the fact that this course ran me into the ground. Like, this class had me pulling three all-nighters minimum every single week with my job. So, you know, uh, some of them may be of a little bit lower quality than others. You know, not every surface is treated just as per per perfectly as all the others, but... I mean, I'm human. <laughs> I'm very human. <laughs> Thank you. And then this will be the final piece featured from my life drawing course from the, the earlier semester of the year. And this is the final project, actually. This was the very end bit of the class. And this thing is so absolutely large that it is difficult to fit it in frame. Um, these two pieces on top are separated. And just for a little bit of background knowledge, the figure had to be life-size, so this is the size of a real human if you were to curl up in this position. And I wanted to depict this lady and her dreams. So she's just taking a nap on the couch, and then we have like a good dream and a bad dream. So this would be the depiction of like a good dream. She's just, you know, imagining herself walking through a field, just something light, elegant easy on the mind, and then over here would be a depiction of drowning or feeling yourself underwater in the darkness, something like that. So with this, I finished that course for good. Then moving on to this one, this fish marks the beginning of my next drawing class. So this was the second half of the year, the second semester, and this one was a freaking blast. This is actually like a lower quality paper. It was just like off of a paper roll that my instructor provided us with. That's why it was ripped so absolutely poorly, but I, you know, I kind of enjoy it in the final result. So we uh, each had like magazines passed around from like, um, like fashion magazines and nature magazines and just things like that. And we were to pick any subject to depict using only our fingerprint and India ink. So this is just like a stamp pad of ink and my fingers repeated over and over again to create a fish. And I had so much fun doing this one. I never expected the end result to be something I would be so happy with, so yay! My next piece is another piece that is using just um, India ink. And this is India ink combined with water to use it in more of like a watercolor kind of way. Uh, lots of fun, definitely a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Not Again, not something that I would choose to do by myself, but after finishing it, I'm glad that I did it. I learned a lot. 
and I learned what things work for me and what things don't work for me. Especially in um, comparison to my classmates' work that they submitted. It was really cool to see how all of us handled this so differently, because I would say that mine, mine uh, stood out just a bit for the, the like, lighter application, I guess. There was a lot of differences, and it was really cool to um, see how everyone's brains work when all we're given is ink and water. This drawing is another one of my personal favorites. Um, it is actually like a grid technique drawing, so that was the purpose of this assignment, was to create the drawing using a bunch of small squares and then combine them together at the end and, you know, see how well they lined up, see how the image looks, and, you know, make a much larger drawing out of a bunch of smaller drawings. I will say that this took absolutely forever. Like, um, each of these squares, I think, is six by six inches. So I'm not doing math, but that makes it very large when it's all put together. <laughs> and this was actually um, of a picture that I took myself in Japan in 2016. These two drawings together are a bit of a special feature. They, uh, they hold a little bit of a special place in my heart. These will be the only two drawings featured from my general fine arts course, which is actually my major. I'm a general fine arts major. And this is honestly what I spent the entire semester doing. Um, the first one was this leopard gecko. And uh, I, I love these drawings so much because if you, if you followed a little bit of my own personal things outside of college, this kind of subject matter is what, what I always want to do. My heart lies in um, using photography references from nature and just trying to depict them as realistically as I can and sometimes changing like the juxtaposition of them as we see in this this um, in this drawing here it would be three photographs of three different subjects that I would put together and then add some weird background behind them but um, the two together were featured in our classes show that we were able to put up in our classroom and the two of them together are titled nature is watching um, I'm just, I, I love them, I'm very happy with them, and very excited to share. And finally, the very last piece that I have to show you today is my final from my later drawing course. So the one that took place after the life drawing. Um, this is, honestly, I think one of the best things I've ever drawn. It is very big, and that is very new for me. As I mentioned previously, drawing in the hyper-realistic style from like nature photographs just has a special place in my heart. And this is the first time that I was able to like, I don't know, exploit that. I made it huge. It was it was very ambitious for me. I'll put it that way. And finishing it, especially in the time crunch for the final, I'm I'm just I'm very happy. I'm not usually this happy. And um. I hope you can forgive me. There's no way I'm putting push pins through this, so it's staying on my nasty drawing board. But uh, one day I will frame it and fix up the background and it will live on. So my camera was definitely misbehaving a little bit throughout the course of this video. So I just wanted to add a little section of high quality images of these drawings just to give them a little bit of an extra chance to shine the way that they deserve. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. Um, if you liked it, please make sure to let me know. Tell me which one your favorite piece was and what kind of direction you'd like to see me continue going towards. So yeah, thank you again and I will see you in the next video.